Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of Entity Framework 6 and we are studying Code First Approach. In introductory video, I told you about the Code First Approach. So if you are not familiar with that part, please watch that video. I will add the link of that video in the description below. So let us see what is the environment setup required for Code First Approach. So definitely you should have Visual Studio 2013 or later version installed and definitely it will require dotnet framework 4.5.2 or above obviously sql server is also required again the version required is 2012 or later and you have to install entity framework via nuget package okay so uh, definitely 2000 visual studio 2013 and microsoft sql server is already installed on your machine i'll explain you how to install entity framework via nuget package manager so let us understand this practically so as you can see here i already created one console application in c sharp uh, named as code first and in this application or in this project i want to install entity framework okay so currently if you check the references here it do not have entity framework installed here so we have to take a help of nuget package manager and for that you have to go to tools menu and there you got one option that is nuget package manager and again here you have two options either you can use console to install nuget package or to install entity framework or you can install entity framework using this option that is manage nuget package for solution okay so i'll tell you in both the way okay first of all i'll show you how to install it using package manager console so whenever you are using package manager console we have to write a command for installing any package okay make sure that your internet connection is working so as you can see here the command prompt appears and here you have to type a command that is let me zoom it you have to type a command install dash package entity framework okay and then after you have to hit a enter key again you can write this command in any case it is not case sensitive just hit a enter key now it may take few seconds okay now it get installed as you can see here entity framework 6.2.0 get installed to code first so this code first is nothing but our application name and if you check a references now okay entity framework get added entity framework and entity framework dot sql server references get added in your project okay now what will i do i'll just uninstall this package and we will again install it using the second option that is this one manage nuget packages for solution so to uninstall your package what we have to type i just press up up arrow key to get a previous command so instead of install i have to use uninstall okay so this will remove the entity framework 6.2.0 from my application look at here now it is no more there now let us do it using second option so just click over here or you can get same option by right clicking on your project just right click over here and say manage nuget packages okay both are the same options now here again you have to select this tab that is microsoft and .net. so this also takes some time as compared to a package manager console now as you can see here you will get entity framework here or you can search it from here also if it is not visible in this list you can search it now here you have to say install now you have to say i accept and then after it will install the 
entity framework in your application okay now look at here even you can check it using your packages.config file actually this file give you the list of all the installed packages in your application along with its version okay so i hope you understand this that how to install entity framework in your application so whenever you are using code first approach you have to manually install entity framework whereas in case of model first and in case of database first it get installed means entity framework get installed automatically so i hope you enjoy this video in upcoming videos we are going to see some more concepts related to code first approach thank you